Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine and on today's episode guys, I will be sharing what's on my iPhone. So currently my phone is the iPhone 12 Pro. So let me just remove the case for you guys so that you can see it. Whole thing. This is the iPhone 12 Pro. Look at that guys. This is my screen. This is the back. Super nice gold colors and i have my iphone 8 plus before that white in color but i find the gold color really attractive this time and it's super nice also um i got this last november it's my birthday gift so this uh episode guys i will be tackling two two things first is that what's on my iphone and then the second thing is, is the tutorial on how you can make the same look as my iPhone. It's very aesthetic pleasing guys. I'm super inspired every time I look at my phone. So without further ado, let's go ahead on my screen guys. I'm gonna show you my screen. So at first, um, my screen is look like this is my screensaver guys. So you can choose whatever screensaver you want so that you can have a theme for your iPhone. So for me, I love the stars. So my screensaver is stars. Also, when you open up my phone, you will see the, um, what do you call this one? The star. Yeah, you will see the star effect as well on my screen. So guys, before I don't like my iPhone, but um, later on, I fell in love with it, especially the iOS 14. Guys, if you haven't updated your iOS, I suggest you update your iOS to iOS 14 so that you can have the same features and then the updates and then the same aesthetic as the phone. Uh, I mean, the phone setup that I have right now. So for my phone, guys, I have four screens. So this is one, two, three, four, and then I have the app library. So on, an, on iOS 14, the good thing about it is that they have your app library. So all your um, icons application is stored in the app library. So it's really nice feature. So everything is in here. Also, you can hide your icon from your home screen and then it will just be in the app library. So nothing to worry about your app getting removed or stuff. Anyway, so that's the cool thing about the app library. And then after that, let's go back to my first screen. And let's talk about this. My first screen, I called it like productivity screen. I call this productivity screen because this is where all the things, magic things happen. Um, as you can see on the left side corner, I have the Google search on the left screen. It is a widget, guys. Um, so let's look at this. So like this one, I have so many things to be researched, guys. May lig talaga ako mag-research. So every time yan, tatype ko lang. Um, lagi kong ginagamit talaga um, pag Google search every time. I don't know. Who doesn't search, right? So kung mapapansin nyo, guys, dito sa mga icons ko din, dito sa iPhone ko, lahat to ng mga makikita nyo are the most used application so, I don't store na hindi ko nilalagay yung mga icons na hindi ko madalas ginagamit. So, I make sure na kahit sa iPhone ko, very organized ako, guys. Hindi man lagi. Pero sa iPhone ko talaga ngayon, I became super organized. So, next on the Google search, guys, mapapansin nyo, on the right side, nandun yung notes ko. I put my notes because um, this is where I type my to-do list, my grocery list, anything, my thoughts. Um, anything that I wanna write, especially, um, ginagamit ko yung phone ko talaga, tas nilalagay ko lang yun sa notes. Kaya, yung Google search at saka yung notes talaga, lagi sila magkatabi. Gusto ko na ganun yung setup niya kasi for productivity talaga. It's very accessible to shortcuts nga sila eh. Kaya nandito yung mga widgets na yun. So, after those two guys, nandun yung, ano, verse of the day. So, mapapansin nyo ito, it's directly from the Bible na new version, guys. So, once you click it, you can read the verse of the day, which is the verse for today is, This is the confidence we have in approaching God that if we ask anything according to His will, He hear us. So, di ba napakaganda ng verse of the day? So, I have it like widgets as well na middle size to, yung widgets na yon. 
So, it's very inspiring. Ang nakakatawa dito, kaya ako nilalagay yung Bible app. Kasi, mabilis kong makita kung ano ba yung verse of the day. I can ponder it all throughout the day. It makes me very efficient to, to read my Bible. It's very accessible. So, after ng verse ko, nandun naman yung maps, which is I always use then Yung notes, nilagay ko lang din yun for additional. And then, yung Spotify, which is I always use. And then, my photos. Who doesn't look at the photos, right? Every time. So, nandun din yan. Tapos, nandito yung selling app ko, guys. Kung mapapansin nyo, kinategorize ko rin lahat according to, you know, use yung mga icons ko. Hindi ko sila hinayad as of the moment kasi um, naayos ko naman sila into one folder. Pero in the future, I'm thinking of hiding them um, in my home screen para mas maging minimal pa. But for now, I'm so happy with my setup. So, yun yung reason. Tapos, ito yung mga utilities. Yan. Nandito yung mga, hindi ko masyadong ginagamit na apps guys, pero nandito nga sila kasi nga, hindi ko pa sila na hide. After the utilities, I do have my mail, which is the Gmail, the iCloud mail, and then the Yahoo mail. And then last is my productivity folder. This is where I put pages, numbers, dictionary, yung mga apps, yung printer app ko, Zoom, calculator, calendar, books, and yung mga browsers and clocks. So, itong first page ko, it's all about productivity, you know, um, doing things. And my next uh, main home screen, I really like this as well, is I call this main screen is my present, my present screen. Why present screen? Because this second screen, um, it helps me to know what is the day today and then the time today. That's why I have the calendar and the clock widgets for this, guys. And... I also have the Bible there on the left side. Pero itong Bible na to, image naman siya. Um, ang maganda dito, kaya ako siya nilagay dito. Kasi I want na patatingin ko sa screen ko, it's very inspiring. ba? So, ito yung tinatawag kong present uh, screen. Kasi nga, dito aware ako what is the day today, what time na ba. Tapos, dito rin yung mga social uh, application ko and learning application. So, as I told you guys, so itong calendar na to from Widgets Meet lang. Tapos, I have the clock and then the Bible. Itong Bible image lang guys. Tapos dito, this is my bank, all about money. Yung money folder ko, I have Venmo, PayPal, Fidelity for Investment, and Robinhood. Chase from my bank, for my bank. And then, basta yun yun. After that, I have social networking, Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, YouTube. YT Studio, Pinterest, and WeChat. Tapos, I learned Chinese. I'm learning Chinese this year, guys. So, I always use Flex ko and Google Translate. Yung lingo there, hindi ko pa yung masyadong natatry. So, meron din akong TV folder. Sa TV folder ko, yung Netflix, Viki, and ICE. ICE, I always watch my C drama there. Other than the drama call from, you know, browser. Prime Video and Apple TV. Tapos, sa photo and video folder ko, nandun yung iMovie, Canva, and Clips. Tapos syempre, foodies sa mga food, diba? Nandito yung Uber Eats ko, Postmate, McDonald's, and some Yelp, syempre, to check restaurants, and Habit, and Yoshinoya. Sa store, I always use um, Amazon, talaga, most of the shopping. So, nandun din yung food for less and we, pero Amazon yung madalas kong nagagamit dito. And then, last ko dito folder is yung home. As you guys know, we are in the process of home searching. So, I use this uh, application, Trulia, Zillow, and Redfin to do that. So, ito yung mga application na nandito sa phone ko. And, dito rin nagtatapos yung mga apps folder ko. For my third screen, I really like that screen, guys. Kasi I call this screen, inspirational screen. As you can see, guys. Yan. I call this inspirational screen. Kasi kung mapapansin nyo, guys, on the left side of the screen, it's from Pinterest. This is just my Pinterest board. It says, I, I am a happy person. Guys, this uh, quotation, your inspirational quotes, it changes every hour. So, iba-iba yung nakikita kong quotes. Yung mga favorite quotes ko. Diba? Yun. So, next on that, um, photo ng family ko. Because my family served my inspiration to move forward talaga. Iba talaga ang gift of family. And that's why I'm here. Because of my family. So, after that, eto kung mapapansin nyo, I think this is Jerusalem. It's Pinterest board and this is my vision board. So on this board, I put all the dreams that I wanted to 
accomplish I wanted to do so I put that on that board sa Pinterest din so it's very inspirational para sa akin guys kasi ngayon alam ko kung saan ako pupunta ano yung mga pupuntahan ko and anong motivation ko doon it's my family to move forward so napakaganda nitong third screen ko guys and I'm encouraging you guys to have the same boards as well later I'm gonna teach you all the tutorial and my last screen guys my last screen is this one I call this screen my goal screen because on this part guys from widgets meet lang to this uh, this photo I just created it guys so on the top portion it's my um, live verse it says um, I can do all this through him who gives me strength Philippians 4 13 13 and after that my 2021 goals Diba? Ano yung 21, uh, 2021 goals ko, guys? Number one, monetize my YouTube. Secondly, pass my HSK2 exam. So, I'm planning to pa uh, to take the exam for Mandarin and then I wanted to pass it. Number three, will be able to speak in Mandarin this year. I'm hoping that I can understand and then speak Mandarin this year too. Number four on my list is learn calligraphy, pens, and brush. So, I'm trying to learn English calligraphy and then the Chinese calligraphy. It's kind of hard, guys, I promise. Number five, earn $10,000 doing trading. So, ito yung ginagawa ko on the side, guys. I'm not really mastering, but I'm hoping to master it. Nagde-day trade ako or, you know, swing trading. So, I'm hoping to earn 10000 for that. And last is debt-free before year end. So, I'm tackling more debts until now. And my goal is to be debt-free this year. I pray God. So, those are my 2021 goals. This is just for 2021. These are, you know, main, main goals that I wanted to achieve this 2021. And basically, that's all my main, main screen, guys. Main home screen. And I really like it. Last look, guys. So this is the fourth screen. The second, uh, the third screen. My second screen. And then my first screen. And I wanted to talk about this widget as well, guys. On the left side, where you can check all your widgets as well. Or it's, I I'm call, I call this like left scroll kasi meron talagang ganun. So dito naman, mapapansin nyo, meron lang um, weather, weather widgets. Ito, stackable widgets. Uh, photos, and then maps, the calendar, that's it. Tatlo lang yung nilagay ko. This is very important. Uh, meron ako dito calendar widgets kasi yung calendar dun sa kabila, naka-widget smith yun. So it doesn't give me the whole calendar, calendar application. Kaya dito ko chinecheck yung calendar kapag gusto ko. Then, the stock. You know, I'm checking it kasi nga, ito talaga ako mag-trading. And the last is the uh, the clock. I really like the clock widgets talaga ng Apple. Kasi nga, yun, you can see for for different time zones. So, I have Los Angeles, Manila, New York, Abu Dhabi. So, I'm super happy about my setup. And ngayong portion na to, guys, I'm gonna uh, teach you how you can create your custom, you know, custom um, home screen as well, like what I did, guys. By the way, guys, dito sa baba, I just have the phone, which is where we can dial, the messages, my camera, and then my settings. So, very minimal talaga siya. So, for me to start the tutorial, guys, um, first, you need to download the widget suite. So, as you can see in this my, in this uh, fourth screen that I have, let's start on this tutorial, you need to download widget suite. So, sa widget suite, download nyo lang yun on apps, and then it's gonna be like this, guys, kung mapapansin nyo. So, the only thing you need to do is click the widget suite, and then you choose from that uh, part, meron akong tinatawag na ito, medium size na widget and then the large size so what you need to do is first add medium widget and then you need to change it for me um i just got the verse from your version so kailangan mo lang yung i-click so this one you need to choose the widget that you want so i choose photos and then choose photo uh-huh the photo for that is a verse so let's put this adjust alignment yeah basically just save the photos from new version and then add it to your widget suite so let's choose this one and then you need to rename it for example this one let's put life oh sorry let's put life verse and then hit save 
and then you're good after that you exit and then you need to click uh, your icon and then edit home screen add you're gonna look for widget smith click widget smith and choose the medium one because that's what I have you can choose a small medium and large but for this um, style I choose the medium one add the widget smith and that's you can see it's there already you can choose as well the widget if you want like that's how you choose what widgets you want okay so for this one let's choose the life first then it's gonna be there you see it's there now for this one it's also widget smith for my goals so what i did is that i just created this 2021 goals from canva so basically just create your goals in uh on canva application and then save it to your photos as well and then what we're gonna do is click again edit home screen add you look for widget smith you click widget smith and then you click click the large large widget add that and then as you can see this is the default one what you need to do is change that add choose the 2021 goals so you just need to you know create another widget a large widget with the same process that i told you guys so that's it it's very easy guys never that was a question where you just need to edit your home screen move it aside guys uh -uh, let's move it move it move it move it there it's gonna be like this again but it's very easy so after that so for this screen naman i told you guys diba um, this is Pinterest, so the other one is widget. On Pinterest, guys, ang napakaganda dito sa setup ko, it's automatic a shortcut for uh, Pinterest. Guys, take note, um, I didn't choose to follow like an icon. Yung kukunin mo pa siya sa, yung bibilin mo pa yung icon sa aesthetics o kaya sa mga Etsy, yung bibili ka pa talaga ng mga customized icons. I didn't do that. Because it's kind of hassle for me to create a shortcut. Tapos lalabas pa yung pop-up na shortcut. Ganun kasi yun kapag ano, hindi yung talagang widgets nila yung ginamit mo. Kaya hindi ko ginamit yun, guys. So for this um, third page, what we need to do is first, you click, uh, go to your Pinterest, guys. So on your Pinterest, you need to create two boards, guys. The board for your quotations and then the board for your vision boards. So as you can see here, for example, this one, I created the board. You create a board, for example, add, yan, add board, then name that um, inspirational quotes. And then create the boards. After you created the boards, you need to add anything that you want. For example, this one, you want to add that. This one, you will never be ready. Just start. I like that quote. So, for example, this four, I added it, right? I added it, it to my inspirational quote. So, what you need to do is that after you add that on your board, the next one is then create your um, vision board. So, that's the same process, you know, create a board. Then this time you, you name your board uh, vision or dream board. That's right, dream board instead. And then you choose create. And then for your dream board or vision board, let's choose images. For example, let's research. I want to go to Paris, so let's go um, look for Paris images. For example, this one, we just need to save that on our board, which is the vision board. Oh, it's dream board, sorry. Then for example, this one too, save it to your dream board. dream board after you save that to your dream board you go to your application again edit edit home screen add and then this time what you need to add is just pinterest and then you choose the small one add widgets and then another one you need to add widgets pinterest and then this time the big one so just add it like that and next to that is you need to choose as you can see there's hour and daily you need to choose the board for this one, let's put the inspirational quote for the small one. It's going to put it like that. And the other one, you need to choose the vision board or dream board, I mean. And then it's going to be there. Then you just need to arrange it the way you wanted to arrange it, guys. So there you go. You have your screen like this. See that? Super nice, right? So after this, guys, you're all set for your um, third screen, right? And this one, on this screen, my second screen, guys, 
this uh, calendar is from widget smith so what you need to do is that you go to your widget smith as well then this one add medium widget and then you just need to click that and then choose whatever calendar you want you can choose like this as well do you see that just choose that and then personalize it save for example calendar two because it's calendar two then you go click out and then next is that you need to add a small widget because we have the clock widget right like this so we just need to go choose the clock that you want for example for the clock let's choose the black one as well and then this one you can personalize it the way you wanted it guys so i just click that one after that you can rename for example let's choose clock two because it's the clock too as well that we're gonna use so after that you already save everything on your widgets right what you need to do so that it's gonna pop up on your home screen is just click edit home screen again and then add you need to choose the widget smith and then you need to add the small one and then you need to add again widget smith you need to add the medium one and then after that you need to choose for example, this, we need to choose the calendar too because we need the calendar like this setup, right? And then the other one is the clock too. So it's going to be like this, guys. And then for this one, it's basically the home boat, uh, the folder icon that I uh, arranged, right? So that's going to be like that. For the Bible, guys, for the Bible widgets, what, uh, what I did is that first, you need to go to um, edit home screen again add you go for new version definitely you guys need to have the uh, what do you call the, this one you need to have a uh, new version installed to you uh, in your application guys so what you need to do is that um, first let's remove this um, remove widget and then this time you just need to add edit home screen add and then we need to look for the new version uh, Bible not your version sorry for the Bible and then you just need to click this do you see that you can choose the big image or small one I choose this one the small one so it's gonna be pop right there very so guys this is what I'm telling you every time you click that you're gonna be shortcutted to your widgets me like this that's why I just use um, the really widgets application then you know going to shortcuts and do that little stuff anyways after this you just need to edit your home screen arrange it the way you wanted it you know so that it's gonna be nice you can delete whatever you wanted to delete after that um this part which is the last uh my first screen i just add the google widgets which is you just need to just edit home screen add and then search google google and then you can choose you can choose the uh, medium wide or this one the small one so i just choose the small one just put it there so it's gonna be right there and then for the notes it's the same thing you just look for the notes and then you can choose whatever you can just put the whole thing as well look at this guys it's so big like you can see all your notes <laughs> after that you just need to hit done and then after that see you have those set up so you just need to be playful and then creative guys in order for you to you know have your screen set up like that to be beautiful so that's all the tutorial guys i hope you learned something today and i i hope that your phone become you know super efficient and then inspiring as well and you organize your phone as well so that is gonna be nice so it hindi nyo kailangan ng iphone 12 para magkaroon kayo ng setup like this you just need to update your ios to ios 14 guys and thank you for staying with me until the end of this tutorial guys if you like this tutorial please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys and guys hit the notification bell so that you will be notified on my next video and guys thank you so much see you bye bye